trying to find yourself a gimbal these days is not really hard. They're pretty much all over the place, and for the most part, they're a bit of a dime a dozen. Like, there's not a lot that really makes any of them specifically stand out. I mean, you can easily find them on Craigslist or, I mean, does anyone even use Craigslist anymore? Never mind that. Scratch Craigslist. You can easily find them on Amazon. You can find them on TikTok. You can find them on Timu. You can find them literally everywhere. And like I said, nothing about them stands out anymore. So when I look at the fact that I go to a lot of conventions and a lot of times I need to do panning shots because I do media for a lot of these conventions. And when I'm meeting, you know, various celebrities and whatnot, it just makes it so much easier if I can have a gimbal that actually works. And like I said, with so many of them being dime a dozen, truth be told, I mean, they pretty much fall apart. I mean, I've got one behind me. I got this one that I got a review unit for. And uh, let's just say that this one right here from uh, Alchuan, um yeah this one just doesn't work anymore half the time it drops my my phone but i have this right here and this is one that i highly recommend and this right here is the xbox go this one is the ai sports gimbal now while i'm not using this for sports whatsoever I use this for when I go to conventions like I said when I'm interviewing celebrities and such also when I'm out at the beach and I need to you know get some you know some some action shots of you know either me running or me you know working out at the gym or I need to utilize this for various other things such as you know hey I need to film some vignettes for my YouTube videos or for promotion for my podcast this is the gimbal that I'm using. It's got an AI feature in it. There's also an app that you can utilize, which, you know, the app is cool. It's nothing crazy. I mean, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these gimbals come with apps, but I mean, I think this one is a pretty decent one. But one of the other things I really like about this is the fact that it does come with a wireless remote control, which makes it so much easier to just place this, you know, prop it up on a tripod stand, which this comes with an extendable tripod stand itself that pretty much makes everything else I use useless. Like, I just wish that I had like, you know, like a, a, a mount that I could put on like a light or something like that, and it would make it chef's kiss. But for all that being said, though, this right here literally does everything I, I need to do. So I was recently at a convention out here in Hawaii called Comic-Con Honolulu, and I got to meet a lot of celebrities that came through. I got to meet the cast from um, Avatar, The Last Airbender on Netflix, the guys who play uh, Aang and uh, Prince Zuko. I also got to meet the legendary Troy Baker and the legendary Jennifer Hale. Now, I also utilize this gimbal for a couple things because not only did I meet them and befriend them, but I also did a little collaboration uh, video because, you know, I work with an organization called Game Heads Hawaii. So basically it's bringing game development tech training to Hawaii for the Hawaii youth and also allows them to work with various companies like PlayStation, Xbox and the like. So I shot promotional and encouraging videos with those celebrities. And the thing is, this is what was used. And it was absolutely crazy. This did everything I needed to do. Like I said, I also like you're going to see a picture pop up here very shortly where I did a picture with Troy Baker. And typically he would hold like Troy Baker is a very tall person. Like he usually would hold his phone like that. But literally all he did was hold this like this, and then he pressed the trigger on the back. So the trigger on her back can be utilized for starting video as well as for taking photos. And then there's a couple other things too with this that I really like that makes this stand out against other, you know, pale and uh, pale competitors. And you can easily just tap the power button to go from vertical to horizontal, just like this. And it's so seamless. And it allows you to just take you know, however you want to do it. If you want to, th this is one of the other things that I find a lot of use out of this. If you pair this with a good lavalier mic, then I think doing live streams on TikTok or now that YouTube is heavily pushing vertical streams, this would be pivotal for that. So if you're a content creator on YouTube or on TikTok and you're looking for something to do really good like you want some like a gimbal that can also be a tripod stand at the same time that also has the capability of tracking you if you want to move around this is going to be the one for you so you can move it around easily like it, it rotates seamlessly 
I also use this when I do my product videos. So like you guys know, I review a lot of tech. So when you're seeing panning videos, this is literally just me panning this thing around. I literally just go around the product like that. And I can also set it to AI track the product. So when I'm just going around it, it just auto moves around. Now you do have this little discus here that allows you to move everything around very easily. You also have a slider and zoom functionality if you want to. And if you're using the, the included app, which also has a camera functionality on it, and you know, you can set it to various things. So it has several different recording modes. You got follow me, you got ice hockey, football, soccer, um, you know, basketball, power soccer, tennis, all that kind of stuff. Like I said, I just leave it on follow me because I'm not utilizing this for sports and it gets the job done honestly so you know you might be wondering okay so you see how this is is this easily collapsible yes you can just you know when you're done with it power it off you'll hear the little doo -doo -doo sound you take it out and then all you got to do turn it around like so boom and it's collapsible now like i said you got the tripod mount you also have this you can just put it on some feet or if you want to use it utilize it on like a, a boom arm or something else like that you know you also have the capability of unscrewing this and screwing that in so you can have more of a you know if you have a specific way you want your stuff mounted you can easily do like that so you might be wondering okay so what is the battery life on this now roughly i've gotten on average using the xbox go i've probably gotten i want to say anywhere from like seven to 10 hours off a single charge. And don't quote me, that may not be the official battery uh, allocation, but for me, that's how long I've gotten as far as battery life. And I've never had to really worry about topping it up. And it does have fast charge capability too. So when you plug it in, you can probably get a full charge within, I'm, I'm finding I get a full charge within like hour and a half, a half an hour gets me a couple hours. I can go ahead and just go out and use it for work. So. This right here, to me personally, I think it's, um, you know, it's one of the better ones. I know there are a lot, and I've said this in other videos too, especially with the recent Ava Media video, that a lot of these companies, when they make products, they all utilize a lot of the same manufacturers. That's why you see so many uh, carbon copies of it. Now, I can't really say that this is any different, but I what I can say is from the build quality compared to others that I've used, it is way better and you know it's just it's got the xbox branding on it but it's a great device nonetheless so if you're looking to pick up a new gimbal you know uh if you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars then this will do everything you need it to do and like i said the ai tracking functionality on this is absolutely superb but with that being said i want to give a special thank you to xbox go for sending this over to me i know this uh took a bit of time to make i've been working on so many projects i've had so many times when i've had hard drive failures i actually just recently switched over to a new desktop and i had to recover all my files and thankfully uh, most of my stuff was in the cloud but i had to reshoot a lot of stuff so this took a couple months to get done um, but all that being said though thank you guys for sending this over to me i, I do apologize for taking so long and um, if you guys want to pick this up i will leave links in the description down below so if you want to get it definitely go pick it up and uh, all that being said catch you guys on the next one stay safe be blessed have aloha i'll see you guys on the next one peace out and we hope